Hi, my name is Kelly Cheatham. I'm a digital learning specialist for Fort Worth ISD. This is a tutorial showing you how to embed a Google Calendar in your Google site. In our tutorial today, we're going to talk about how to create that Google Calendar. Then we're going to look at embedding it in Google Sites. And then lastly, we're going to talk about adding, editing, and removing events on your calendar and how those changes automatically update on your site. So to get started today, we're going to go to the Google Calendar interface. And so we're going to go ahead and open our new tab here. There are lots of ways to get to Google Calendar. You can do so through your Google Apps Launcher or your Waffle. So anytime you have any Google app open, that launcher is in the top right hand corner. And if you scroll down in here, you'll find Calendar. And so when you select that, that will take you to your Google Calendar. You can also use the URL to get there. And so I'm going to type in calendar.google dot com and that's going to take you to your google calendar interface now in your google calendar in interface you're going to find all of the calendars that have you have either created or have been created for you on the left hand side here now keep in mind that anytime you create or are added as a teacher to a google classroom that google calendar will automatically add itself here so you might find that you have lots of calendars here if you have not already created your calendar, you can do so by scrolling all the way down to the bottom where you'll find other calendars, and then you'll click on that little plus button. So we're going to go ahead and add a new one here. One of the options when you click on that plus button is to create a new calendar. When you do that, you'll be prompted to name your calendar. And then you can also give it a description if you'd like. You can change the time setting. And then when you have everything set the way you'd like them, you're going to go ahead and click on Create Calendar. Once this calendar is created, it will show up in the long list of my calendars here. So I'm going to scroll all the way down to find it alphabetically you'll notice that it automatically did select it when i created it so it is visible right now on my calendars interface here so i'm going to go ahead and just leave it at that for now we're going to come back to our calendar in just a bit now we're going to go ahead and pull up our google site so now that we have that calendar created navigate to your google site and find the page where you'd like to add the calendar one of the cool things about Google Sites is that it works very well with all of our Google applications, including Calendar. So on my right hand side panel here, I'm going to go to the Insert tab. And I'm going to scroll down and you'll notice that we have lots of options over here for things that we can insert. And one of them is Calendar. So here I am, I'm going to select Calendar here. And now it's going to bring up that entire list of my calendars. So I'll scroll down until I find the calendar that I would like to embed. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that, and then at the bottom I'll click on Insert. That calendar now pops up on your page. You can go ahead and you can move it around or you can resize it as you need. You can also do some things to change the view of this calendar. So right now it's showing up in agenda form. Um, we are able to change that so that it defaults to a different view. So when I select this calendar, I'm going to click on the little cog setting that pops up in the top left corner. And now I can turn on and off some of these different things. So I can turn off the title, and you'll notice that that title at the top here disappeared. I can take away the date. It's going to do that same thing. I can take away those navigation buttons so I don't have those arrows anymore there. So I have lots of different customization features here. And then the one that I like to change is that view mode. If I leave it in agenda form, it's just going to list all of the events in my calendar. But if I want it to be shown in that typical calendar form, I can either choose to show the month or the week view. So depending on how you're using your calendar, you may want to change the view mode. And when I have all those all set, I'm just going to click on done. Now at this point in time, you can go ahead and publish your site so that that calendar is visible. Anytime you wanna make changes to this calendar that will populate automatically on your site, you're actually going to do them in the Google Calendar interface. So our site is ready to go. We don't have to do anything else to add events to that calendar on our Google site. As I said, you can publish and you're good to go there. 
So now to go ahead and add those events, we're going to go back to our Google Calendar interface. And we're going to go ahead and start creating events. So I'm going to turn off some of my other calendars here so it's not quite so confusing. Oops. And I think I have one more turned on. There we go. Okay. So now the only calendar that we're seeing is this tutorial test calendar that I just created. So that's the one that we're going to add events to today. So to add a new event to your calendar, you're going to go to the top left hand corner and click on the create button. That will automatically pull up this little pop up window and it's going to ask you to title your event. So depending on how you're using your calendar, this might be a, an event in your classroom. Maybe you have a special um, after school event someday. So maybe you have like parent night in your classroom. You can go ahead and title that event. And now we can change some of the uh, features underneath. So our date, I'm going to click on the current date and I'll go ahead and put in the date of this event. So let's say this is on Friday. I'll select Friday and notice that it automatically moved that event over on my calendar itself. And now I can come in and change that time as well. So maybe this is a, an event that starts at 530 and ends it. I'll keep it at 630. Okay. So I can change that date. If it were something that required a Google Meet, I can automatically add in that Google Meet link. It will generate it for me. Um, so that's something that I could easily send out to people. One thing to keep in mind, while Google Calendar does give you the option of emailing people, it does not work because our Fort Worth ISD Google email is not turned on. So um, that's a feature that we aren't able to use, but you could then send the link. So when I add this, here's that link. I can send that link out to people um, in another form. All right, I could add a location, I could add a description, but the last thing we want to make sure of is we want to make sure it's in the correct calendar. So here I have selected tutorial test calendar. If that's not the calendar you'd like it to show up on, in other words, if that's not the calendar we just put on that Google site, you'll want to change it just by clicking on it, and now you'll select the calendar you'd like it to go to. You do have the option to add more settings and things. Um, so this will pull up the regular creation window. So if that wasn't enough, you have more options there. But when you are done, you'll just cl click on that save button. It will automatically put that event over here. And now on my calendar, I'm gonna go ahead and publish my site here so we can see that. But on my calendar, that event is automatically gonna populate. So I'll show you that right here. Notice that that parent night event is there. Anybody who has access to my site can click on this and see that event, um, any of the details that I put in, they can see what by clicking on more details. So that's how to add those events to your calendar. Now let's talk about changing and deleting them. So again, I'm gonna go back to my Google Calendar interface and let's say that my parent night was rescheduled. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that event because I need to make some changes to it. When I select it, it's going to pull up this little pop-up window. All you need to do to edit the event is click on the pencil icon. And now you're able to come in here. You can change that date. You can change the time, any of the details about it. You can get rid of that Google Meet link and regenerate it if you need. So you have all of those little editing things that you can do here. And then lastly, you're just going to hit save to make sure that that change is reflected on your calendar. You'll notice that that disappeared from the third, but it moved it to the 10th. To delete an event, it's really simple. All you do is select it, and you'll notice that next to the pencil, you have the trash can. When I click on the trash can, it will remove that event from my calendar, and therefore it will be removed from my site as well. While we're in here, I want to remind you that email guest button is not going to work in Fort Worth ISD, but you also have some other options here. Um, you can copy it to a different calendar. You can duplicate that event. So you have lots of different things. Um, you could publish it. You could change the ownership of it. So those three dots give you a lot of different options there. So that is how to add a Google Calendar to your Google site and then update it. So keep in mind that all of those updates will be done in your calendar itself, and then they will automatically push out to your site. And I'll prove that to you right now. We'll see that when I refresh my page, that event is removed from the third and it is instead the following week. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to your digital learning specialist.